Your dark eyes are just seen. Wave washing, you transmit. What do you see? Boats of refugees are standing the green sea. Boats of refugees are standing the green sea. There is a settlement of transatlantic fetus. Descendants. Sea salted. Bone, water, memory. Water don't forget. She transmits. What do you see? Dark eyes, pearls in disguise. Essendent fossil pieces recorded encoding time and continuum. All baseline and beats. Cause those earthquakes and tsunamis and centuries re unborn. On the new breed hidden in shapes of seaweed and sand, a white band of lunatics, leaving dark clouds stained hieroglyph above Mediterranean waves where a moon sits, cutting horizon. Water moves with memory of things untold, forgotten, thrown away. Plastic bottles and plastic bags, fashion deep seaside where the re-unborn amphibians <laughs> boom, collecting stories, preparing room for the welcoming, most believed is the second coming. <laughs> She first began receiving these transmissions via osmosis as a kid. <laughs> Sitting by riverbanks, creeks, trees, and wherever there was water. And once in a full blue moon or every other full moon, these transmissions would, as it did with others who shared the mark, eventually speak through her as if her vocal cords were theremin receivers and her locks the antenna, a reflection in the sky, and these are the transmissions. Giving data and updates 
taking place in the human world. Many of us are artists, some of whom have no memory of their heritage, which lies in both the water we carry in our bodies, as well as the genes passed down from the generations. We have a very particular relationship with the earth as we inhabit most of the earth, a virtually uncolonizable part of the earth. She was still in her early digits, single digits, when she first felt compelled to decipher what her parents called a birthmark on her left thigh. The mark, the mark. She knew that it was a coded symbol for something every cell in her body understood. She would study it under moving waters. Every time she learned, over time she learned that our stories or prophecies, if you will, are inscribed on ancient living sea scrolls. The mono babble bots called them dead sea scrolls. Some of them were found in the so-called lost cities underwater. Typical of the discoverers of everything, to name it so, as they are blind to the truth of the transitory and the continuum. The cities were never lost, and our parole never dead but in a state of a constant rebirthing. Yes, a holographic replica, AKA the Dead Sea Scrolls, were doctored to suit the humans with the capital H system of reality. We saw them coming. Some undersea saltwater nergo, some newer generations prefer to call themselves amphibians. Move between deep sea and deeper sea with the ability to cloak in much the same way that jellyfish can camouflage underwater. Our form is felt unconsciously by some who sojourn there, but the average human frequencies make forgetting inevitable. These living sea scrolls, on them, it is written that the first waves of transmissions would be simplified anagrams and analogies for the first millennia, at least. For the real of it all, it's harder to conceive than it is for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. By the same token, the real of it all is absolutely comprehensible on levels of consciousness which lay untapped in the mental universe of most Earth dwellers, especially in an age where monobot culture possesses the increasingly